You may have seen the memo come down from the CDC monkeypox confirmed here in the United States. KOCO's Abigail Ogle joining us here tonight and Abby, we're already in the middle of a pandemic here. How big of a concern is this? Well, Jess, that was our question, of course. Yeah, now this case coming out of Texas, obviously just to our south and more than 200 people were also exposed on a flight. We spoke to an infectious disease expert about monkeypox. Now we do want to tell you before we show you these photos, it can be a little tough to see. Super rare across the world, but mostly in Africa, but can cause pretty severe infection. Pediatric infectious diseases doctor at OU Health, Donna Tayangu, says she was surprised to see the recent memo from the CDC about monkeypox just because it's so rare. The one that we found in Dallas um, was actually the first case in the United States in quite some some years. So what is it exactly and how does it spread? Unlike COVID-19, which is aerosol, it's large droplets that go from person to person um, through respiratory spread. Um, and you have to be interacting with people for a good long period of time. She says it starts with a fever, headache, muscle pain, and exhaustion. Then one to three days after you get a fever, you typically start having these lesions, these vesicles develop, and they start on your face and they kind of move down your body. She says she does not think monkeypox will make its way into Oklahoma. She said doctors are much more concerned about COVID-19 and RSV. Focused very hard on COVID and then we have this very strange RSV summertime surge and it's a very, very large surge. We have many patients hospitalized with RSV right now. A lot of us are pretty apprehensive about school starting without our children being masked, knowing what we know and understand about this new COVID virus that we have, the Delta variant. And right now there is no cure for monkeypox. Doctors just work to manage the symptoms. I also reached out to the Oklahoma Health Department. They tell me there are no cases here in Oklahoma. They're not following any contact cases right now either.